Hey, thanks for stopping by. There's a little laughter in my voice because I can't believe I did this, but I'm going to tell you about it anyway, and we'll just uh, sort of admit to the mistake. So this is the back of the K2. I did another video where I said, no matter what I do, the SWR is at 9.9 to 1. Everything seems to be going badly here. So this K2 is relatively new to me, so I haven't done a lot of looking or opening or uh, reading through all the manuals. So here's a place to start. The first one is that inside of this is the KAT2 automatic antenna tuner. And it says right here in the front that there are two antenna jacks provided on the ATU. So if you look, this says antenna tuner. These are the two jacks, antenna one and antenna two. So my mistake was looking at the back of the K2 and seeing the port labeled antenna and this is how I had started with my antenna here. And you can see, you still get a signal. There was nothing seemed to be going really wrong. And uh, no matter what I did, obviously I was getting a high SWR because I wasn't actually going through the tuner. So with the antenna on one of the two jacks, you can see I've selected antenna one. That's the live one, antenna two is not. So that was the first clue. The second is, when you look at the diagram of the tuner itself, you can see antenna one and two, there's a switch, and then it goes into sort of the SWR jack and then sort of all the tuning uh, selected uh, for inductors and capacitors. So this is the only input to the tuner. So connecting here actually bypasses all of the tuner and goes directly into the radio. So while it allowed me to transmit as long as I put the tuner in bypass mode, I could transmit at a couple of watts and that was working fine. Here's the real key piece. So this is the operation section of the manual. Just uh, separated out. That's the front panel. And they nicely provide on the back, uh, pardon me, on the next page, the back panel. And there's a, a couple of key words written there that uh, were the reason I started laughing when I started this video. So you can see antenna tuner one and two unbalanced antenna. Right here it says main antenna, do not use if ATU is installed. Okay, so that was why my SWR was super high because I wasn't actually using the tuner and there wasn't much going into the radio. So now you can see, we can uh, step things up here a little bit we're connected to a piece of coax that goes to a 40 meter dipole laying on the roof. We'll, uh, we're, we're at so what, 7118, and we've been listening a while and it's quiet. So we'll try the tune mechanism here. And you can see ATU 1.1 to one and it stops. So that was the answer. Um, let's see, if I switch away from through my tuner to just directly to the coax, we can try one more tune. See, it went from, tuned it up beautifully without using the tuner on the other end straight through. So that's the answer. There was nothing to fix. You just have to connect the antenna to the right hole. So thanks for watching. See you later.